All right, guys, so I heard that there was sharks in the water here on Padre Island, but I didn't know there were sharks outside of the water. It's a new life for me. For me. And I didn't know sharks got this big. This is pretty crazy. Woo! Those are some sharp teeth. Raw. <laughs> so, this is the last sight you see before the mouth closes and you you eventually get eaten up by the stomach acids of this huge shark. What's going on YouTube? Um, so I woke up this morning, I saw that Marlo was sitting outside trying to enjoy the view. You know, because that's why we're parked here on the beach. We went and dumped yesterday, and uh, that was really nice. You can dump down by the visitor center, um, and they've also got fresh water there, uh, potable water as well but I woke up this morning and you know the whole purpose of camping on the beach here is for the view right um, I hate to get negative or nothing like that I just don't uh, I try to stay away from negativity but I didn't get much sleep last night and I'm waking up in kind of a mood and then I saw what I'm about to show you <laughs> so uh, you wake up on, you know, you're camping on the beach for the view, not for your own health, right? Well, some people don't know why you're camping there. They think that maybe you're just there, I don't know, for if uh, you're there just for your own health or what you're really there for. But personally, I'm camping here because of the view, as I think most people would camp here for the view. But, uh... These people out here have miles and miles of beach both to the left of us and right and this is where they decided to park. Directly blocking our view. So, I'm not going to say anything, I hope they leave soon, um, but it is pretty inconsiderate. If I parked anywhere to fish, I wouldn't park right in front of an RV. So, it is what it is. What do you think of that? Well, I mean, there's like nobody behind our RV down that way on the beach, and there's places over here behind Dale's RV. When I say behind, I don't mean behind. I mean like right. that way or the other way. And um, of all the places, it's just random, right. I guess. Yeah. Like really inconsiderate. I'll show you guys. There's all that area where somebody could park. Actually going miles down that beach. And they set up their chairs and stuff right there. It's pretty cool. The, the tide, we did actually have a problem you guys will probably notice that we did move. We moved from over there to over here where Frank and Jade Beavers were parked originally because the tide has been getting higher and higher. I've been watching the tide tables online, but they're not always super accurate. And yesterday, the tide actually came up underneath my rig. <laughs> so obviously I'm fine and we were still able to move but 
I was anticipating that because I saw that the tide was a lot higher. So we started uh, packing up all our lights and chairs and everything like that. But we didn't do it quick enough and I got pretty wet. Tide, pretty big, pretty big wave came up and hit me. <laughs> so it is what it is. We're moved now and we're much higher over here and further away from the water. They've got like five poles up over there. And I think we're gonna be fine where we're parked. Subagapatis? Okay. Yep, YouTube. Even though I moved, the water just came up all the way up under my rig. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get stuck. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yep. Oh man. I just moved. Oh. Yep. Not cool. Not cool at all. I wonder how far it went. Well, it is what it is. There are a lot of police and park rangers here today. What's he gonna do, donuts? Hmm. All right, well, I'm trying to edit a video. <laughs> the waves keep coming up. <laughs> I thought that was, that was gonna be the highest tide today. Uh, the tide tables aren't very accurate. I will wait and see if another one comes up that high. That was pretty high though. That's the most I've seen since I've been here. Everything is now mud in front of our rig. Oh well. Oh, don't spit up mud on all our stuff. Oh, he's taking off. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Hello, guys. We're crab hunting here. We found a crab, a whole bunch of them on the beach. Look at this thing. It's ready to fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to bite the phone? <laughs> you got to claw the phone. Are you going after sober? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you are going to. Boy, you're brave. I wouldn't go after sober if I were you. Okay. So, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Is that a crab? <laughs> it's gonna beat you. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> it's a mean little. That's they call them a crab for a reason. They're kind of crabby. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get it, don't you? Okay, come on. Let's leave the crab alone. Come on. Come on, Summer. Summer, come on. Come on. There's a crab right there. <laughs> Come on, move, buddy. Hey guys, living on the road full time in my RV can bring me on some pretty crazy adventures. I encourage you to follow along in my adventures on the road, so please subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and thanks for watching.